It's weighing day in the spider monkey house. Oh, come on. That's it, he's on. Yeah, 5.2. 5 oh, so he's had a bit of a jump. Yeah. People think they're really quite cute and cuddly, but you wouldn't want to go on the wrong side of a spider monkey. <laughs> this isn't the only way in which spider monkey appearances can be deceptive. So the girls have a... I can't even... <laughs> Why have you done this to me? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, let's just say you would look at them and think that you were looking at a boy, but you're not, you're looking at a girl. <laughs> Whew, right. Mary is the troop's longest standing breeding female and is one of the oldest living spider monkeys in the world. 50 years old is really impressive. Normally, you're looking about maybe 30 years, maybe 35, so she's incredible, really. She's very switched on still, and she's a great mum. For the last 10 years, Mary has formed a close relationship with Papian. Our dominant male is Papian. He loves Mary. You'll see him spending quite a lot of time with her. He's quite a quiet soul. He's a bit of, a, bit of an odd one, really. Together, Mary and Papian have had two children, seven-year-old Oscar and two-year-old Archie. But these aren't Mary's only offspring. She's had 19 babies over her life. Um, so, as you can imagine, that's a lot for one animal to go through. She's definitely done her bit for the breeding programme. Female spider monkeys are able to have children throughout their lives. But in their natural Colombian rainforest habitat, they would never live this long. Because of the stress pregnancy puts on the body, having a baby at this great age could prove fatal for Mary. So the keepers have a plan. We don't really want her to breed again, so uh, we've decided to go up to the vets and give her a contraceptive implant. But this subspecies of spider monkey is critically endangered. So it's essential that the zoo continue to use Papian as a breeding male. An attractive younger female, Kiara, has been introduced to the group to try and catch Papian's eye. Kiara is lovely. She's, she, I think she's a bit of a favourite among keepers. She's like a model looking spider monkey. She's, she's gorgeous. She's, she's got a lovely face. And she's basically come in to hopefully be the new breeding female. The appearance of a younger model on the scene may not be easy for Mary. We try and stay out of interfering with the group dynamics as much as we can, but, you know, if she were to get pregnant again, you know, it could make her really sick, and obviously she's a bit older, so don't want to run that risk. Only time will tell whether Kiara will replace Mary in long-term partner Papian's affections. <laughs> After having a contraceptive implant fitted at the vets, today 50-year-old spider monkey Mary is finally home. But while Mary has been away, it looks like Kiara has made her play for Papian. And keepers are concerned that Kiara might challenge Mary on her return. They're like any animal, really, you know, they can have their nice side, but they can obviously go a bit nasty as well if they want to, and, and they can cause a bit of damage to each other if they, if they do grow like that. Can you go through that bit? Thank you. Yeah. She's free. Get a girl, Mary. Before Mary rejoins the rest of the troop, the keepers give them distracting treats in the hope that it will ease her reintroduction. But it's not enough to stop Kiara from trying to warn Mary off her new man. Who was that? Kiara. Be nice to her. If one of them's been out for a couple of hours, then they go back in, they kind of punish them for being out of the group. Kiara's, you know, quite well established in the group now. And so, you know, that was kind of her response. Being part of a love triangle seems to be too much for Papian, 
so he keeps his distance. But at least there's one man in Mary's life she can count on. Her son, Archie. Archie, go see Mum. <laughs> oh, there we go. Archie. <laughs> oh, she's looking that. When animals have close bond with, a, with another creature, it does definitely help them. It gives them strength and it gives them someone to sort of tell them it's going to be all all right, even though they might be struggling. The zoo know that in the long run, this is all in Mary's best interests, as her body can no longer cope with having babies. But losing her status as the longest standing breeding female is going to be tough. Something exciting is happening. Oh, what are you getting, girl? Fifty year old Mary has recovered well from surgery. Keepers hope that her contraceptive implant will encourage her partner Papian to instead mate with eight year old Kiara. She's eating really well with her mouth. Despite also having had most of her teeth removed, Mary doesn't seem to be having any issues eating. Mary seems really good. Um, she does look a bit gummy when you see her. Um, but mind you, she still seems to be able to eat fine. And I've seen her munching on apple and pear, and she seems to cope just fine. I think she's, she's so experienced with everything that nothing phases her. She definitely can keep up with the younger ones in there, keep up with the younger models. The contraception means that after having 19 children to look after, her days of motherhood are finally over. So she's able to kind of just get on with her own life and eat and sleep and sunbathe till her heart's content. But there is a problem. Papian's head was never turned by Kiara. He is as smitten with his beloved Mary as he's ever been. What's wrong with Papian? <laughs> I don't know whether he just likes the old ones or he's quite happy with what he knows. For all we know, uh, he loves her. That's what we'll choose to think. <laughs> but all is not lost for the breeding programme. Mary's son, Oscar, has taken a shine to Kiara. I would say Kiara's turned Oscar's head. Oscar seems to show quite a bit of interest in her. Sometimes they'll just disappear off. We don't know what they get up to. We've just not seen them doing the deed yet. <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's not happened. 